What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, man? <laughs> On Zay Live Podcast, episode five. We got a, we got a legend in the building. We got a Fontana's motherfucking, probably finest talent, bro. We got, we got a brother to me. We got a homie to me. We got someone that's taught me so much about life, so much about everything, bro. This is my homie, my bro, my tocayo, Johnny Madrid. Cracking, what's cracking, my boy? What's Thanks cracking, bro? You, you feel me? We sipping on that Moet today, you feel me? Like, my boy put me on a lot of alcohol, and I was like, well, I got to go in right with my boy, you feel Damn, me? Like, you don't make me seem like I'm an alcoholic <laughs> or something. No, no, pff, never, bro, <laughs> never, bro, never, dog. I'm, yeah. You feel me? You you know the right alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's not that you're an alcoholic. You know you know what to sip on. You know how to look classy with it, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, sip something good today. You feel, I it's have to, good, bro. a good little episode. I have to, bro. Nope. You're... You're a real one, dog. You're you're an OG. It's my first first podcast, so hey, let me know. Let me know. I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it <laughs> simple with you, bro. I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna talk about a lot. We're gonna get into a lot of shit that a lot of people want to know about you, dog. Like like from the get go, from the get go, bro. I've known you for before before you knew me. Like I was telling you, before you knew me, I knew you because you're just well well renowned with everyone, bro. Everyone knew who you were. Everyone. Wanted to be like everyone wanted to see you play, dog. You're an OG yeah. in the game. You're, you're literally like I told you, the filthiest, nastiest baller I uh, see. On, like you're, the the real shit, bro. Everything yes, you do, motherfuckers want to mimic. Nah, motherfuckers nah, want to nah, do nah, like. None of that. None of that. You feel me? You're talented, dog. To say the least, bro. To say the least, you're one of like, you're talented, thanks, bro. Thanks. Appreciate that. You know. When the fuck? When did you fall in love with the game, bro? Like when did you really said this is what I want to do? Like they say, bro. You. You're born with a ball in your, you know. You feel me? So I played. I've always played like since I was a kid. Yeah. But I've always played with my older brother. Yeah. Where? So my older brother's two years older than me. Yeah. So I always played two years up since I was a little kid. You know. Yeah. I had fucking shorts that were passing my knees, bro. The socks and like you know. Dribbling it. Yeah. It. So I've been playing since since I could remember. You know. You just, so, every every single like yeah. you you just went at it. That was something that. Well, yeah, definitely something there. There was, like, times where I had people that wanted me to go play everywhere, you know? Yeah. I had people pay for my stuff, pay to play yeah. in clubs. I started off Sunday League. Yeah, like everyone worked, else, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, worked my yeah. way. Like, not worked my way up, but just people saw me playing. and Yeah, they saw I, something was different. Yeah, that I should be playing at a higher level. So, yeah. I mean, that's when, you know, Coast and all that was there. And you play right there, and then you start just moving up, moving up, moving up. And so you get, I mean, I got all the way up to academy from academy. I didn't do high school. Well, I wasn't going to do high school, but at the time, it was either you do academy or, or well, high school. You couldn't do both. And how do you feel about the way that you, the U.S. is set up like that, where you kind of have to pick and choose, am I going to be an academy player or am I going to be a, a high school player? Do you wish you could have done both? Do you, do you feel capable? Do, do you think you would have been capable of doing both at the time? I think you could have. I think, yeah, of course you can. I mean, you're when you're young and you're athletic, you yeah. have energy, bro. Like To do anything. Yeah, like it's not like you're going to wake up and be like, oh, I'm cramping up. Or, like, do you, do you nah, think that holds the U.S. soccer back, the fact that you can't do shit like that? Or what, what's your personal opinion on that? But, on U.S. soccer? I mean, I, I don't like the soccer here in the U.S. Like, yeah. I, I hate how they... Make you think that you have to go to college, play, and then get drafted. Yeah. Like, why can't you just play academy and go up from there? Yeah. Like, I, I never... That's why a lot of people go to Mexico. Yeah. Because in Mexico, you don't have to go to school. You don't have to... No, you just go from academy and you work your way up. you 20s and all that. And you, you could basically play pro. When you're fucking at a young 16, age. Yeah, yeah, you you can debut whenever. Yeah, because over here there's a lot of regulations with you know your age and and you don't and uh, like I'm not I'm 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 with you I agree with you but uh, I feel like a lot of those you know a lot of those reasons a lot of those fucking regulations are kind of like to keep everyone you know keep the younger the the younger the younger athletes safe and shit but at the same time it's like bro like we've seen like. These kids, like, yeah. be 15, 16 years old, ready for it. You feel me? Like, yeah, so. exactly. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people leave to Mexico yeah. for that reason. So they don't have to go through the school. And, like, 
go to college and ha- get drafted. Like, I know players that are talented, bro, and they've gone to the best schools. And they get drafted, and they only last, like, a year in the league. And then after that... It's like non Yeah. I mean, they have something to fall back on, but... I mean, you shouldn't... If you're that good, you shouldn't last a year yeah. in the league. Like, you should last forever, you know? You feel me? And so, yeah, like, you, get a, you should but, make a career out of it. Yeah, basically. and I, that's why a lot of people go to Mexico. Like, literally everybody I know goes to Mexico. The only... The hardest part is just leaving. Yeah. Like, you literally got to leave everything behind it, yeah and it like sucks bro because we didn't we didn't grow up there so yeah, it's like you, it's a whole it's a whole it's new, it's a whole new nation for us like it's yeah. hard like you have to get used to everything yeah how to move around what to eat how you're gonna eat if you don't know how to cook like what like yeah. you know yeah. it's just like little shit that like a lot of people think is easy like oh bro. this was gonna move to mexico <laughs> yeah he's getting paid nah but what like you got to groceries you know like if you leave at a lo- at a young age like when you're 15 16 like what do you know that's just tough bro you don't know nothing about yeah. buying groceries you don't know how much how expensive it is to like buy deodorant yeah. toothpaste yeah. you know fucking toilet paper like nothing Everything, like bro. that i remember you distinctively when you had left you had left to mexico for a bit i remember you coming back and and as as excited as you were and as as uh, as thrilled of it as you were you still said the realities of me, uh, the realities of it. You feel me? And that's that's dope because I kind of felt like that was a very genuine conversation that we we're having. I think it was just us two, and you're like, yeah, like you're telling me all, everything about it. And I don't want to get into that, but I was just like, um, I took away from it where you're like, you said very the real side of it, like just just like you said right now, just the real side of shit. Like, yeah, it's dope, and yeah, I'm out there, and yeah, I'm playing, and yeah, I'm getting paid, but you guys don't know the realities of this shit. Yeah, like, you that- told me how hard. You, one thing you uh, distinctly uh, that I distinctly remember is how hard the fitness was. You're like, dude, it's brutal. Like, they don't that stop. Fi- yeah, that fitness is something else, bro. It's something <laughs> you're not used to. Like, over here, you're used to, like, you run, you do, you know, you run, and they fucking run the fuck out of you here. But yeah. you go out to Mexico, and you're talking about you have little stations. You, I, When I went, bro, I didn't know nothing about lifting weights. I didn't know I had to lift weights. Yeah, I got there and I was over here lifting weights and everybody was like, why does it look like you're trying to fuck something when you're picking this up? <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to pick up a weight. I, I never picked this yeah. shit up before. So it's like, it's a whole different, like, even just the weather, bro. Like, the weather is it's just hot, humid. Hot, humid. <laughs> it rains at night. Fucking, so when you go to practice, all that fucking water uh, like, just, it's a, it's something else, bro. Yeah. It's not like people just think like, oh, this fool gets up, he eats, goes to practice. Like, nah, we you get up, you have breakfast, you practice in the morning. Your second training is, you go work out, you go to the gym, you hit the gym, yeah. And then your third workout is all ball working. You know, just depending on where you're playing at. Yeah. I mean, the coaches and all that. But that was my daily routine every day, five days out of the week. I had morning sesh, afternoon, and then the night. And you told me it was brutal. And yeah, bro, it takes a toll <laughs> on your body, bro. Like, yeah, you, you fuck don't yeah. just fucking. And you're not, and that and like you're doing these brutal workouts, you're doing these all this shit while being somewhere else. Exactly. While not going home to your your, your mom, your dad, your fucking your brother, your you know, to you, you're not going home to none of that. You're you're going yeah, home bro, to yourself. Yeah, bro, it's not like it's not like you can get home and rest. Yeah. Because when you're over here, like you get home and you're, I mean, your mom's cooking, your mom is making you food, and sh- like no, like you have to get home, cook. Or whatever you're going to eat or else you're not going to eat. Yeah. So it's not like you get home and just like, oh, let me lay down. And let me kick it. No. Because there's like, already a plate waiting for me. Yeah. I got to eat before I have to go to my second training. Well, if I don't eat, um, I'm going to be throwing up or I'm not going to have no food in my system. So I have to eat. Like you just have to be like on point, on time and make sure that you're getting your meals. If not, it takes a toll on you, bro. Yeah. It takes a toll on Fuck your body. yeah, dude. Fuck Believe yeah. it or not. And a lot of people think it's easy just to, like... Just to be out there. Yeah, shit. like, I mean, there's a lot of people that always say, like, you could, like, my little homie, Lil Johnny, a lot yeah. of people always say... Shout out to Lil Johnny. Yeah, shout out Lil Johnny. Killing it. But, I mean, and people always say, like, oh, he's not even good. Why is he at that level? Like, nah, bro, like, there's more to it than just... Like you're not at that level for no reason. Like, nah, it's a fucking work. Dude. Like that if it work, was easy, bro. if it was easy, 
everybody would be there. Yeah, nah, that you know him himself talking about bringing him up, bro. Like, like I I really don't even know him like that. You feel me? But I I've seen like he's been all around the world too. You feel me? He started from like I like I know he, he was like from nothing, bro. And like he's been everywhere with it. Like you feel me? And now he's finally established himself yeah, in Mexico, and it's like damn, player, that's yeah. that's fucking that's crazy. Is, like that. And just, people always say like, like oh I. You know, like, when I played against him, he wasn't good. He didn't do nothing. Like, well, you, you can't just, you can't stop somebody and be like, I'm better than him. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Like, everybody, everybody gets stopped. Yeah. Like, you get you it. Nobody's that, nobody's perfect, bro. Yeah. yeah. But just because you stop somebody doesn't mean they suck. Yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. good. They're at that level for a, a reason. There's a fucking, there's like it's that. A, it's like. You put in a lot of work, bro. Yeah, you it's, put in a lot of work to it's be like, at that level, and you can't stop putting in that work. You have to, even that's the on nasty your part. when that that's the like that's holidays the and all that. You still gotta be fit. You still gotta be working, yes, sir. Because if you get to like training camp, like like overweight, without, yeah, 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 like anything, they, yeah, they put in una putiza. Yeah, no, I feel Those, it, bro. And and depending on where your your training is at, your fitness and all. Sometimes they take you out by the beach and you do all your workout on the on the beach. I don't know if you guys ever walked on sand, but yeah. hey, imagine running on it for yeah. hours. Like it's it's a different. It's a different. It's for different. It, that's why it takes a different type of person to achieve that not, amount yeah, of success. Not, it's not. It's not meant for everybody. Yeah, like that's why. Like fucking, it just. It's a lot. Of, you gotta be mentally strong, bro. Yeah, to get mentally to strong, level, physically, you gotta mentally just you got to, your spirit has to be like unpenetrable. Like No, it's because there's a lot of other people that want to get to that level. Mm -hmm. So if they, like, you can't be like, I'm tired because everybody else is tired. Yeah. So you have to be on it. Like everybody wants to be at that level. Everybody that's there is there for a it's reason. But we'll kill for that. Yeah. We'll kill for that. And that you little saying, the hard work beats talent is true, bro. Yeah. If yeah. a coach sees that you're fitter than me, he's going to play you because you have to play 90 minutes. Yeah. The whole 90 minutes. You can't yeah. just give me 30 good minutes. Like, no. Yeah. You can't just give me 30 minutes of fucking productivity and slack off the next That's fucking. Like, yeah, like, yeah, no. You the next to, 60, and you, no. you, the hardest part is just being consistent. Yeah, like, that's the, yeah. Because a lot of people have good games and bad games. Yeah, but if you could keep, if you could be consistent with with decent, out, with good and decent performances, you don't have to give a good performance every time. But I mean, as long as your contribute. your rating yeah. is good, like your passes and you You're know, like how you many times did you lose the ball or how yeah. you know, it is it, it's just a whole. It's a lot of things that come with it that a lot of people don't that won't understand. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that like Fontana and Fontana. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good talent. Fuck yeah, it's bro. It's just Fuck yeah. them not going out. Like, they don't come. They don't get out of Fontana. It's crazy, bro. They stay bro. around here. Like, the reason... So, when I started playing ball, like, I got into ball late. I got into ball literally because of Alex, bro. Like, mm -hmm. Alex is the reason I, I told him that before. You probably know that. Like, Alex is the reason I got into ball. And um, when I first went to go see, like, uh, everyone would meet up at like, Jack Bullock. And, uh, like, back in the day. And that's when all the four I played. And I was, like, just seeing these who's played. And it was just, like, and I was, like, not only do they have people, players like you that are just incredible talents, they also have a system. Like, I, I feel like that age group, your guys' age group, probably, like, you, probably all your years and a few years after and probably a few years before just were playing with a system, bro. Like, every single touch was on point. Like, every, like uh, uh, shout out to my boy Edgar Peace, Paz. Like, I remember him distinctively, like, um, um, our, I think it was our sophomore year, and he was like, no, nah, I don't want to play, I don't want to play, I don't want to play, whoop whoop So then he ended up playing his junior year. Mm -hmm. And I remember being like, this who plays? Like, I, I, I had no idea how gnarly of a yeah. bar baller he was, right? So I ended up fucking seeing him play at Jack Bowling, and I was like, this fool's first touch was just ridiculous. Oh, yeah, like, fool, he's good. He's just really, really quiet. He's shy. He's, a <laughs> he's shy fucking, he's a baller, <laughs> though. You feel good, me? Bro. Like, his, his so, brother's good. So, too. so, fuck yeah, Patrick's Patrick. a monster, too. So, everyone, bro, so, like, coming, like, someone, like, a shout out to my boy Max. Like, he, mm -hmm. I seen his first touch, and, like, yeah. Alex's first touch, and, like, everyone's first touch was just, like, so, so on point. Good. And that's when I was just like, these fools are a different breed. So now, 
I went to full high my freshman and my sophomore year, and I was just like, okay, I had already, I was just like, yeah, you know, Johnny's certified. This, yeah, yeah. this was a baller. Like this fool is, <laughs> this fool, this fool's something special. You feel me? So my junior year, I went to a different school. I'm not gonna name the school, but probably, everyone probably knows the school I went to. Um, and if you don't, I don't fuck. fuck I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck <it. laughs> so I went to a different school, and uh, we're 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 chilling. It was uh, like. It was like fourth, fifth period. It was twelve thirty. So it was like it was like around twelve thirty. So it was like fourth, fifth yeah, period. Yeah. I had a few. I had a few players from from that other school, and they're just like, "Oh, you guys were playing them that day," uh-huh. and they're like, "Well, you know, we're gonna lock this fool up." <laughs> and I was like, "Who? This fool Johnny? What Johnny? Like, like? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Both of them are ball- ballers, but I don't. I don't even like yeah, the, yeah. like you feel me like the other one." The other, I don't even think the other one was in was in high school yet. Um, I was like, oh, you know, uh, Madrid. I was like, you locking up Madrid today? Yeah, yeah we're locking them up. <laughs> I was like, bro, I, I went to that school for two years. Uh, let me be real with you. Let me be frank with you. Like, I really, I didn't even know you at the time, bro. Yeah, and I was already defending you. Dog. I was just like, let me be real frank with you, bro. This fool is something else, bro. This was a this was an animal. This was a different breed, bro. <laughs> Short, like just yeah. no. Hey, but if you guys give him a good game, like. That's cool. You feel me? So it's twelve thirty. By four thirty, when you guys played them, yeah. I want to go to the game after. You feel me? I'm gonna go catch a little game after. You know, see what's up with these fools. <laughs> Alex was so Alex was. I was best friends with Alex, so Alex was was playing. So yeah, it was dope was to go. So it was dope to go see him, and, and it's cool. It's dope because I ended up like I'm actually cool with a lot of those players now. Where I'm like, damn, I actually want to go see a lot of the homies play at that time. Yeah. And now I'm like. Yeah, now exactly, I got to see exactly, you, you yeah. feel me? Like, so now I have this whole story about you and that, like, you didn't even know. So it's fucking, so that was said at 12.30 that they were going to lock you up. 12.30, they're locking you up. Did they lock me up or not? At 4.30, you had put one of them on their ass. <laughs> it was, it was two people on this food. And to this day, I'm like, the reason you put them on their ass, like I always, like I remember seeing that, bro, and it was something for me that, like, it was, I wouldn't say life changing, but it was like a life lesson, a life lesson. It's life like lesson. don't ever say you're gonna lock someone up if you don't know how talented they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First and foremost. Exactly. Um, but I was like, how did this would do it? And I kept like playing that playback, and I was like, how did this would do it? How did this would do it? So you had two fools on you, and and you literally went from this fool, you brought this shit back, and you literally just hopped the fuck out. And you like jumped out, and you took the ball with you, and I kept like, how did well, why did this fool fall? Or like, how did he do that? Like, how the <laughs> fuck was that even possible? So, the, I just pretty much pointed, put it in perspective when I find when I actually got to play. With, like, I remember we were just fucking around at one time at the complex, and I seen how fast your feet were, and yeah, how yeah. fast your legs were, and I was like, oh, there's no way of stopping this fool when you're. When he's that fucking fast, when when you're that fast, you're gonna think, oh, I'm gonna try to like stop this fool, and you're gonna bust your ass. Yep. So you you did that, bro, and I was just like, damn. I think you guys end up winning like seven one or some bullshit it's like that. You, <laughs> you guys night. destroyed these fools, but I was like, first and foremost, the fool that you did, like the two, the I like that team was great too. You feel me? Like they're yeah, full yeah, of ballers no, too. Different. They're they're fucking. They're it's just a different. You're a different breed. You feel me? It's and and the 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 the. The two dudes you did that to individually, like they're way better than me. They're wow, tremendously better than me. You feel me? I would never even get to the level, but it's just like it, that's how you. That's when I really knew that you were a different breed. I was like, this food is a different motherfucker. Nah, trust me. Like, I, if I, look, Olo Fontana has a lot of good talent. I just think there's sometimes they're missing like a little piece. Like maybe it's confidence, or maybe it having those balls to be like you know. Because there's not a lot of players that, if you notice, there's a lot of players that when you score on them, the first thing they do is just, like, put their head down and, like, fuck, yeah. we're going to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's other players that when you score on them, they get, they'll put the team on their back. They'll be like, fuck what the that. fuck? Like, we, we ain't losing? Like, hell no. Yeah. Not like, not like that. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like that's what Fontana has, that there's a lot of talent. They're just... Oh, there's people missing like certain things. Yeah, confidence. certain attributes to yeah, the game. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. But yeah, there's they're missing certain things. But I'm and there's also is just like getting out of your comfort zone. Like don't just stay in Fontana. Like if you can go play versus other people anywhere. Like there's go do it. Go do it. 
Yeah. Bro, in LA. That's what helped you a lot? L- yeah, yeah. I yeah. I played, I mean, I played coast yeah. all, all my life. Yeah. Since I can remember. Yeah. And, you know, they have bronze, silver. Yeah, so the higher yeah, you go up, you're always the, the top. more, like, you, you find people that are like, you're like, damn, like, yeah. this, this, this was the real deal. He's legit, like. So and playing I mean, coast you, is mad you, expensive. You just get game. used to playing at a different level. Yeah, it's not like you're playing easy games all the time. Anybody could play an easy game. Anybody can score in a game that doesn't matter. Yeah, but it takes somebody different to put the team on their back and score when you need it and get it done. Or you know, yeah, like Straight Kobe mentality. You exactly. Know? Rest in peace, my boy. You feel me? Straight Kobe mentality, bro. Like, I I hate to like just. Bring up out of that out of nowhere, but it's this that same you know that same yeah, killer bro. mentality. That, like, that's the that's the thing that I'm telling you is mentality. That's, that same killer like mentality. Like your mentality has to be different than everybody else because yeah. if you stay like in Fontana, bro, for example, in Fontana, everybody's good. You can go anywhere and they'll tell you that fool's good. Yeah. And then you tell them, well, I don't want to see him play here. Like, put him in a final. Put him in a game where he's playing good players. Because over here, you're not gonna play. You play good players, bro. But half of the, you got one or two good guys on each team. Yeah. The rest of the team is. Yeah. They're, they're not, not good, bro. He's they're not, not as good. talented. Yeah. You know? Yeah, of but course. put them against somebody that's good. Somebody that's going to tell you, okay, maybe I can't stop him, but I'm going to hit this fool hard. But I, I'll I'm going to give him a hard. Yeah. I'm going to hit this fool hard as fuck. I'll make and sure he's he not going to want to touch the ball no more. Yeah. That's different. Like, there's players that are like that. Yeah, of course. They're, they're like, okay, this fool keeps doing this to me. I'm going to hit this fool. And I'm going to keep hitting him. Yeah. So he won't grab the ball no more. He's not going to take me on no more. Like, it's just like a lot of little things that a lot of people can do yeah. to throw you off your game, bro. They could fucking, bro, I had people grab my, my ass, bro. They'll grab your ass. They'll pinch you. Like, just little shit that tries to throw you off. Yeah. And you can, there's a lot of players that you can throw <laughs> off really, trip, really easily. Yeah. yeah. All you yeah. have to do is start talking shit to them. Yeah. I was one of those, bro. I, I get like I'm gonna just get like frustrated because like I come from a different background when I like I like skateboarding and I like all this other like I I always liked like I guess just more to yourself sports. So when yeah, I yeah. got into like playing balls, like every little thing used to get me mad. I was like, man, what the fuck was like? What's up with this food, like, bro? <laughs> like, why are you like mad at me? Like, I'm just playing it. Like, I didn't get like it's so funny that you bring that up because I didn't get that part of it for the longest. I'm like, bro, like. What the fuck? It, like, why is it like this? Because skateboarding is you're just mad. It's like I'm like because my first sport that I fell in love with was skateboarding. So like, it was like it, it's a it's to yourself. You feel me? So when I came to playing ball, I was like it was a hard adaptation of the whole mentality, the whole mentality process that you're telling me about. Uh, telling me about it was so hard for me because I was just like, what the fuck? You have to be like this like all the time. <laughs> so now when I go play, it's like. And and then I, it's funny because like I would see Alex being like, fool. We bu- we know Alex as the like the most goofy fucking yeah, person. Yeah, Alex will be yeah, in here fucking just busting joke after joke and just yeah. saying crazy Doing shit after crazy. Shit. <laughs> you feel me? But then in a game, this fool is just locked in, locked in. Like no matter what he's doing, no matter who he's playing, fool. If he's in the game with with us, he's fucking locked yeah, in. He had that confidence. Bro. And and it's like and I kind of like I kind of started seeing. I was just like, damn, you really just have to lock in, like. Like, if you're playing in a game that you give a fuck about, like, you know, if you're playing with the homies, it's a different thing where he's like, yeah, I'm doing whatever I want. But if you're playing in a game, like, and I, I'm just, I'm telling you from my own little experiences, so I could only imagine, like, I can't even imagine, like, all, like, how much you have to lock in. You feel me? Where your ears, like, you're in a whole different zone, bro. Yeah, like, I, I'm in a, I don't, I don't like losing, bro. Yeah. I don't yeah. like losing at all. And the thing about soccer is that, like, you could have a good game. I could have a good game. But if, it's a team, you know, it's a team sport. Yeah. So if my team is having a bad day and I'm having, if I'm on it, like, I can't really do much, you know, besides trying to do my part. Yeah. But it sucks, bro, because at the end of the day, like, like, most of the time you just blame everybody else because you're like, well, fuck, like, I did what I had to do. Yeah, I, I came in. I know I I did, like, I gave it my all. Yeah. And then you you look at the these other players and you're like, fuck, like, you know? Yeah. Like, when we play CIF, like, with Fontana, bro, you couldn't... I hate it when the coach told these fools, like, oh, we're playing this team, they're ranked, this... We got to watch out for these players and these players. And, bro, it was like everybody all of a sudden got scared. Like, oh, fuck, these fools are good. Like, yeah. our, the coach is telling us, like, yeah. and that so these fools are fucking legit. 
And I'd be like, bro, don't tell them nothing. Because then this was, they're already, like, in their mind, they're already, like, oh, fuck, we lost. Like, And that's that mental process yeah, that you like, had different, nah, bro. Fuck it's, that. It's, like, it's they a, it's should a, be scared of us. It's like, a different mental process that you had towards it because you're kind of, like, saying, like, bro, like, even if they're good, we're better. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like, they should be worried about us. Like, we're yeah. the real deal. Like, that's we're crazy. Fontana, bro. Yeah. Like, all four years they were there with one lead. We, we did everything. Dominated. Dominated. Yeah, complete dominated dominance. Complete league. dominance. Every entire, league. yeah, every single fucking year. You guys like, were dominant. And I was like, bro, like, well, why why are we scared? We shouldn't be scared of nobody. We should be scared of us. Like, yeah. our junior year, we made it all the way to CIF final. That was crazy. Yeah, our senior year, everybody was scared of us, bro. Like, at halftime, they would take everybody out and let all the subs play. Yeah. Like, Cause at halftime it was already six zero five zero, like. Yeah, you guys were running through it. Yeah, were there was coaches it. that would tell our coaches, not to score, too many goals on them. So we would literally only play halftime. Yeah. No, no, you guys dominance, and, complete and, dominance. And bro. I got mad. I got into it with Primo. Shout out Primo. <laughs> I got into it with him a lot of times, cause, the I I wanted to play. I wanted to, cause. There was records to break at Fontana, like oh, goal, yeah, like goals wise, everything, and they would always take me out. They yeah. would always take me out, and I would get mad <laughs> because I would be like, "Bro, like, I want to yeah, have that yeah. record. Like, Fuck I don't yeah. care if we're winning six zero. Like, let me in. Like, let me score another ten goals. Like, yeah, let that's me break gnarly. that record. Let me make it hard for somebody else to break that record. Yeah, like you wanna. I feel like you should wanna have players like that on your team. Yeah, of course. That, like, if somebody has 40 goals that nobody has ever broken, you should want somebody to be like, hey, I want to break that record because really that nice. boosts everybody else's confidence. Like, yeah. oh, like, this fool just wants to win and score. Like, let's do it. Yeah. And I that, I used to get mad when they used to take me out. <laughs> I used that's to just some real ass shit, though. That's some real ass shit, bro. Like, that's. Like, I would, like, we would be winning 6 7 0, yeah. and I would get mad because I would be like, bro, why? <laughs> like, let me keep playing. Like, let me keep scoring. Let me let me leave some records here. Like, yeah. Let, let me break some records. And, like, I want my name to be, oh, we got to break Jonathan Madrid's record. Yeah. He has 60 goals. Like, but they didn't let me do that. Yeah. Like, so it, it would frustrate Honestly, me. Honestly, though, bro. Like, I would get out the games, bro, and I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even give a handshake to nobody. Yeah. Because I'd be mad. Yeah. Because I, I'd just be like, bro, like, why you keep taking me out? Like, don't take me out. I want to keep playing. I, I want to keep scoring. I think, though, if I'm being real with you, though, like, despite, I don't know what, I don't know the, the certain records that you may hold or you, you or you don't, you feel me? But if I'm being real with you, though, I, for me, you're probably the best player that's ever came out of Fontana, out of Full High. Appreciate that. You feel me? Like, I, I, at least from what I've seen, I, I really do think that. And despite anything else, I really do think you come out saying, oh, I I was the best player to ever play at that school. Nah, I don't, I don't think and that even I'm the, the best and even, player. And I, you feel me? I don't, I don't want to cut you off, bro. And, like, I just want to kind of say, put this point across. And that's no knock to nobody. That's no knock to absolutely nobody. Fool, that school is just full. Like, the years that I was there, I was – Fucking great! I'm grateful and blessed to have been around some true yes. motherfuckers that just knew the motherfucking sport inside and out. Until this day, I'm just like, damn, these fools knew, these fools yeah. knew the sport inside and out. That's no knock on nobody, but it's when I had seen you play, I was like, this was just a different breed. It's a different, it's a different feeling when I had seen you play. You feel me? I distinctively, I distinctly remember uh, you guys were playing Summit, and my my homie Lala was playing on uh, was on the Summit team, and he had, he was injured. And uh, um, unfortunately, he couldn't play that game, but it was, like, raining and shit. And uh, um, it was, like, that first round. Yeah, the first round. We yeah. struggled. Yeah, bro. And struggled. But it was a fucking good-ass game, though. Like, it was so fucking good. You guys ended up winning, like, an, o an OT. OT, yeah, but that, that game, we struggled. So that, I, fool, I've been, I've been, sorry, I've been to a, some fucking dope-ass games. Mm -hmm. I've been graced in this lifetime to have set, i could say i could sit here and tell you i've been to some badass fucking games i've been to like real i've been to fucking uh uh like my one of my favorite games was mexico versus jamaica and mexico ended up winning 2-1 but that four high versus summit game bro yeah, gave me that like same little, feeling bro like a little rivalry <laughs> gave me that same feeling bro it was raining and, and the thing is that that field didn't help <laughs> no nah. <laughs> that help field us sucks. Out, that we were home advantage like it didn't help no. us not and not them Everybody was slipping everywhere. There was mud everywhere. Like, 
You remember that, that was all fucked up. You remember yeah, that shit? I remember that. that. Oh, like bro. It was yesterday. Like. Shout out to my boy Lalo. Like, this fool was on, well, he was on the summit squad, and unfortunately, he was hurt, so he couldn't play. But I was like, this is such a good fucking game. Yeah, it like, was like back and forth. Like, they were about to beat us. They hit the <laughs> pole. Like, I was like, fuck, I can't believe we we're about to lose to this team. Like, that was your junior year? Oh, no, yeah, that, that was my junior that was your, That was the year you guys went all the way to yeah, the final. That's yeah, that's the year that we went all the so, way. So, uh, fast forward, you guys get all the way to the final. You find, you feel me? You guys yeah, get yeah, all the way to the CIA final. final. Four, I have never been there. They haven't even gone there since. I think the last time they got to the CIA final was in 93. 93. You feel me? Because there was some guy that came and visited us because he had hurt. He so, came with his le- Leatherman's jacket, and he's like, yeah, the last time we got to a final was in 93. That's fucking Something crazy. Like so ninety three to what? Are, what year 20, was? Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven, right? That was the last time you guys went to a CIA final. Yeah. Think about that, bro. So they haven't gone back. Yeah. You feel me? And unfortunately enough, I don't think the talent's there for them to ever yeah. go back or win it. So you guys were the closest thing to winning it. You to feel winning me? Some. Yeah. To we lost two one, and we missed a PK. I know. I fool. I I I heard the devastation Monday morning. Like I didn't go to that game. But I heard the devastation Monday morning. Well, I had already heard. Like, they're like, yeah, they lost. And I was like, what yeah. the fuck? They lost. Yeah, but that, the other team, bro, they they had won it like three years in a row. Oh, like, my God. Like, that team was legit. Like, oh, my God. Hey, Loki, you guys were ranked. Forehead was ranked in, like, state, like, number one that year, right? Uh, I think they're I number think, one or two. No, no, not our junior year. Because our junior year, we struggled a lot. Throughout that the season? season? Yeah, yeah, like, we struggled that season a lot. That's crazy. Because we had some, some Coach Jeremiah. Yeah. And we struggled a lot that year. Like, we we were, we lost to Ukaipa. We lost. Uh, you guys lost a few games. But yeah, when it came junior, to the playoffs, though, you guys. Yeah, that's a, like, that's well, a, yeah. When, it, when we went to, to made it to CIF, we, yeah. we did good. But uh, regular season, I think. I don't, I don't remember if we won. I think we won. But I, I think I remember we, we lost to Ukaipa and. I think we might have lost to um. What's that? Uh, Eisenhower. Eisenhower. I think we might have lost to them too. I'm not sure. sure. Either yeah. that or Ty. I know you guys always but, da- you guys always battled it out with like the Redlands teams, right? Yes, always. Uh, Redlands East Valley. Yeah. Redlands, and then it was uh, Rialto. Oh, at the okay. time, because Rialto was still in our league. Yeah. My junior year, they were still in in our league, and then uh they ended up switching, and then. Our senior, my senior year, uh, the competition wasn't, it, it wasn't that good. And then senior year, spank. so what has, from your freshman year to your senior year, what was your favorite team to play with? Or at least, not your favorite, what what team do you think was the best team that you ever played with from freshman year to senior year? And that's no knock to every other team. That's t- Every single team was spectacular, but what team was the one for you? Where you I, like? I I would have to go with my my freshman year. Your freshman year? I was there? Yeah. I feel like. All the players from that year, they those are like the players that have balls, like the ones that weren't scared or nothing, you know. Monsters. Like, All right, let's get it. Let's get it. On Day Live Podcast episode five with my boy Tokayo. Feel me? Hey, honestly, I never, I never even told you about that, bro. That like we have the same name and shit. Oh, I know, I know. You feel me? It's because I just everybody, literally everybody, thinks my name is Johnny. Really? No, yeah, they don't. They're like, "What's your name, Johnny?" I, like, I always say it's Johnny, you know. Yeah. So everybody's like, they think that's my real name. So when I tell them, like, "Oh, nah, my, my name is Jonathan." Your full name but, is Jonathan. Yeah. yeah. I was like, the only one that calls me Jonathan is my mom when she's mad. <laughs> she's like, you Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that sounds exactly. But, it. Yeah, like other than that, nah, like everybody just knows me as Johnny. Bro, you, your, your mom's. But you, you know that that name got stuck with me when I was. A freshman. For real? Yeah. Because when I went into uh, high school, there was somebody else named Jonathan. So they would call me Lil Johnny. Okay. They called me Lil Johnny. You're the uh, you're, yeah. the, you're so the Lil Johnny. When, yeah. So then when I got to, to senior year, yeah. I was Johnny and then Little Johnny was, was Lil Johnny. Jonathan, Jonathan Suarez. <laughs> so he took down Lil Fire. Johnny. Yeah. Yo. So now I say, oh, he's Lil Johnny. Yeah. And I'm just Johnny. Fire. But yeah, I, when I was a freshman, that's, that's how it I don't know who gave it to me, but somebody was like, oh, we had two people that were Johnny. And yeah. Were Johnny's or Jonathan, and they used to call me Lil John. And, and it just stuck with me ever since. You spell it 
completely abstract, bro. Yeah. Like my, your, my, your your mom just went yeah, with it, uh, with it. Either my mom or my dad would. How, how do you how do, how do you spell it? Uh, my name is J H O N A T A N. That's a trip, yeah, so bro. That's why, like, when I spell Johnny, I put J H O N N. Yeah. Because that's how my name is spelled. That's a trip, bro. I but remember. you know what's crazy? Like, I used to spell my name. Like, my name, I would just spell it how it is. Yeah. I, I would never spell it how it's, like, on my birth certificate or nothing. What? Until I, like, when I one time I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> and they couldn't find my name. Because yeah. I kept spelling it. How, the regular. Yeah, the, like, how Because I spell it J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Yeah, see, yeah. I was spelling it like that, too. <laughs> and they, my name wouldn't come out, like. It was just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. who, who, who are you? Like, until they were like, let me see your ID. So I gave my ID, and my ID is J H, yeah. like how it is on my birth. They were like, oh, that's why, because your name is spelled wrong. So ever since that, like, I just started spelling it right. Yeah. It's like, get a, you know, it's like a bad habit to spell it wrong. That's Cause crazy. Cause like, my credit cards and shit yeah. like that now, like, I gotta, you know? Yeah. That's, so I gotta spell it how it is. I remember like the first time knowing that, I was like, Damn, this one spells it fucking trippy. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, what? but I just be, I always tell everybody, like, I don't know, either my mom was going through some, <laughs> through a lot of pain or my dad was drunk or some shit. Like, cause That's a trip. They, they, they That's fire, that though. They, That's they, fire. They, they fucked that name up. <laughs> That's fire, though, because then, like, it, it, like Alda's name came out. Like, I, I love, like, Alda Aida's name is dope. Like, I always, I always fucked with this one's name. It's super clean. Like, no, your, your parents' name is up. Like, that, like that's, that's fire, because I always tripped out on that, too. Like, hey, a lot of people trip out when I always say, like, oh, I lost my little brother. They're like, you had a little brother? And I'm like, yeah, that's my little brother. <laughs> like, yeah. for real? I was like, yeah, why? Because he like, has a completely different intro. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Yeah, well, you could say that we're... I mean, he likes, you know, his the shit. Same, yeah, like, yeah, the same, yeah, yeah. The same, yeah. The same, but different. And the then fucking Allah's all wedito and shit, and um, Yeah. Like, you know, I like... we. They say we all look alike. Yeah, I don't, you, I, I don't do. know. I think you guys do. I think you guys all, yeah. yeah. From from Eric I, to, I, to I Allah. I think my parents said something about that. One of their grandpas is, like, really, really wedo. Yeah. So that's why Allah's light-skinned, like, because he's fucking white, basically. Yeah. That's but, crazy. Yeah. Nobody, every single time I tell people, like, oh, I love my brother. They're like, this trip oh, what out. the fuck? Like, yeah. he's your little brother? They're like, yeah. That's crazy because I have a very. I have a genuine yeah. friendship with both of you guys. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I, I was telling Alda, like, hospitality, bro. Hospitality is the name of the game for you guys. Like, oh, yes. yeah. From, uh, like, everyone, like, you guys just want everyone to feel welcome, to feel like, yeah, yeah like, bro, like, every single time, every, every time I pulled up on you, bro, you've always made me feel welcome, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Now we get that. Whoa. For my parents, you know, my parents are like that too. They like to, um, everybody, they like to treat them right. Yeah, yeah. So we, we get that from everybody. I'm telling you, like, I was telling Alta, like, on, on, when I had him on, like, um, I had, I was talking to your pops, just like, if I was talking to my pops, like, yeah. just, and he was just taking everything in, it's like, cool. and he was just like, yeah, bro, like, whatever you gotta do, you gotta yeah. do it, you feel me? Like, I'm doing what I'm doing, you feel me? You gotta do what you gotta do, you the feel only, me? The like, only thing of, the only thing bad about my dad is that fool talks for days, bro. Like, once I, that's start dope, talking, though, bro. That's yeah, dope. once you start nah, talking to that fool, nah, that fool won't shut up. So I'm like, I appreciate that, nah. dog. Like, <laughs> I, I fuck, like, I appreciate that because it's just, it's just dope. Like, it's just, it's a hospitality, bro. Like, nah, yeah, it's, always, it's, it's always cool, like, to talk to older people. Of course, and, yeah. And they tell you shit, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, I never thought about it like yeah. that, or, or yeah. I never, you know. So it's cool. I have a lot of older friends. Yeah. Most of, most of my my friends are older than me. Yeah. 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 I feel like I kind of is like I kind of kick it with like everyone in general. You feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, me too. Me too. I have like different groups of friends. Yeah. But, but you, then I'm I'm like I'm cool with a lot of people, and then there's like my best friends, the people that yeah. I, I know their family. And, yeah, of course. You know, and yeah. you you know you can't be like that with everybody, but I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm cool with everybody. Fire, fire, hell yeah, bro, hell yeah. That's one thing. Hospitality, bro. Hospitality it always comes back to the same thing, bro. And like, hospitality has always been big for you, bro. And that's something where I was just like, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. not only like from before I knew you to like where I was just like, all right, this was re like he's just a dope ball yeah, player yeah, to yeah. like actually getting to know you. And like, damn, this was a genuine person. And then I was just like, damn, this was like when I seen you kind of like when 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 you like I've seen the evolution of like not the evolution. I've seen the pro like the progress process, whatever, however you want to put it. Of you like getting into when we really got in, where everyone kind of got into clothing. You feel me? Because yeah. not only were you this ball player, 
You're like, but, no, I, I fucking dress. You feel yeah, me? I, I dress to impress. Like, motherfucker, I'm fly. From, hey, from diamond to super to... Everything, you feel me? What was it? Black scale? There was a... Uh, everything, uh, bro. What else was there? Everything, bro. There was Every- a gang of stuff. Huh? All Back the shit. So I seen you, bro, go from, like, super sky tops to now Christian Louis Vuitton red bottoms, bro. Like, how is it... How has it been for you? Like how? Like what? What? What made you transition into like I'm getting into like the designer now, clothing? I mean, um, well, I used to be into Jordans too and shit. But yeah, then you still are. I, no, you I, still are. Like I do like buying them, but then I don't know. I there's just overpriced, bro. Overpriced. Like the aftermarket, the after sale is is ridiculous. Like you pay six, seven hundred dollars for some Jordans. Yeah. And I'm like, man, you know what? Let me add a couple more hundred dollars and let me just buy some designers. Some that I know is gonna last, because Jordan's uh, Jordan's recent like retail price is like two three hundred two hundred dollars yeah at the most like I mean it's that price for a reason right yeah no, it's not meant to last for they last they know last what? if you they, take care of them not not only that yeah I feel like certain specific Jordans are actually built correctly and some Jordans you just like they're uh, trash uh, yeah. food they're scrap they're scrap but it's like scraps that you're ro- that you're rocking bro it's like I don't know what happens is they, they cheap out of material that that they are like scraps. So I completely understand where you're coming from. Where yeah, so that, that, I mean, that's what made me get into, like... Designer in general. Designer, because, I mean, if you get if you could get shit retail, like, go ahead. Go Kudos it. to you. Yeah. yeah. But I can't, I don't have, eat like, that. I don't got the plug like that. Uh, I have yeah. plugs that do it, like, after, after yeah, yeah, yeah. that. I'm like, man, I'd rather just... Get the designer. Designer, it's going to last longer. What... What uh, what's your if if I could uh, I don't want to like ask a specific because it would be so super generic if I ask what's your favorite designer brand but what would be your favorite designer brand? <laughs> well, I think I I like Red Bottom. That's Red like Bottom? what that's what I have the most of. Yeah, yeah. Christian Louis Vuitton. That's that's what you that, really. Yeah, fuck that's with? that's what I like. Like I yeah. like those shoes. Yeah, no, it's just a fire, bro. They're but, fire. They're fire. Yeah, like that. But then after that, I had like a little bit of everything. Yeah, you kind of like play. Yeah, I, I I like like Burberry, Givenchy, Gucci. Yeah. Um, Versace. I like Versace a lot. Versace's fire. He's got a Versa- uh, I got the Versace cologne. That's just yeah, fire. Yeah, Montclair. I got Montclair. There's, there's I I get a little bit of everything. Fire. Yeah, I seen that. I seen the way you incorporate. You you've been like that in the past, mm-hmm. where you're incorporated a little bit of everything, and now it's just like. Oh, you you well, you're the one that put me onto Subi jeans. You feel me, like Subis? Yeah, Subis, like yeah, yes. bro. That's like those are fire. You feel me, like those are fire, bro. But those are those are expensive jeans. <laughs> like, they're fire. You though. look at them and you're like, damn, two fifty for for some jeans. Some yeah, jeans. <laughs> we're talking about jeans for some fucking jeans. Nah, but I mean, it's like everything, bro. Like, I mean, I ain't got money and nothing like that. Like, when I buy shit, it's like, okay, I want to buy this. Let me save up some money and then buy it. Yeah, it's not like I wake up and be like. Yeah, let me let me just on a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, like let me just drop a couple hundred and you right know, now. And you know what's dope though? Like your style, bro. It's it's because I see fools that wear designer and you, you, like it's yeah. just to me it's not me. But when you wear designer, I'm like, if I was gonna wear a lot of designer, I would do exactly the way you do it. You do dark colors. Everything you're wearing right now is black. Yeah, I'll you feel like. me? You do a lot of dark colors, and if you don't, it's just very th- just things are just clean. They're just yeah, not yeah, too yeah. out there. Like uh, like because I you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like a lot of designer shit just really out there, and I and I don't like and it's like I don't really like being out there like that. Nah, I I mean I like buying shit that stands out, but it's also like plain. Fire. I like just getting yeah. dark colors, like fire. Yes, I don't like doing like unless it's my shoes. Like some of my shoes are a little sparkly, but, but shit, shoes but are shoes though. Shoes yeah, are shoes. Like, like Jordans sparkly are sparkly and shit. Yeah. In, but other like my clothes is most of it is just like plain fire, plain with design. Like I don't like buying shit that doesn't have the brand on it. Mm-hmm. Like if you can't tell what it is, I, I won't buy it. Yeah, it has to be like a big ass Burberry or a big <laughs> yeah. ass Versace or some shit. Fire, that's just straight uh, yeah. real with it. Yeah, hell yeah, of like, course, bro. That that's what I like buying. Yeah, I don't like buying no shit that says like a little ass Versace or nothing like that. Like, like fuck no. Fool, I would be like, fool, I'm the exact same fucking way. Like that's that's just like that's what I'm telling you, bro. When uh, you're very good at dressing with designer. Like you do yeah. it exactly the way I would do it, which is you're. You're, you, if 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 no one would know, they would be like, "This was wearing regular clothes." But someone that knows you's like, yeah. "Holy shit, this was has like five six racks on them." You feel me? Like, <laughs> you 
You feel me? Like that's a, that's what I fuck with. Like yeah, that's yeah. what I like. I, I like the more not. I don't like the flashier shit. I very I like my nonchalant type shit. And you feel me? Even when it came to streetwear, and I still I, I'm all about streetwear. You feel me? Yeah. And even now with shoes, I still get a little crazy with it. But everything else is just super, just plain. Yeah, and that that's how I am, bro. Like I don't like. I mean, obviously, right now we're talking about clothes and all that. But mm. other than that, I don't, I don't really talk about clothes or nothing. Like if. People would tell me they compliment me or whatever, mm. but I'm not really too much like, oh yeah, I got this or that. Like, yeah. look at them. Or, nah, if you see it, you see it. Exactly. But people know, you know. It's dope because if uh, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Fucking yeah. fire, and it's like, bro, we kind of always had that connection where it's like we kind of like just always like when we would talk, like we would bring up clothing. You feel me? Yeah. It'd always be about clothing. Exactly. I guess because like I always like clothing because. Oh yeah. So, we started off like how you said, bro, like wearing Supras, Janowskis, remember yeah. Janowskis, yeah. Diamond, all that shit. We used to go out to. I remember me and little Alex used to go out to like the Diamond store out in Fairfax and. When it was popping, yeah, popping. Like, it's we still popping. Like, it's yeah, still we, bigger we than were, ever, but we were like little kids, bro. Like, and still in high school, yeah, going out there, and I mean, we would rock pink dolphin, all that, like diamond. I think diamond was like the biggest. Diamond the was big, yeah. Diamond was super big, like and when we were in high school. I remember little Alex used to have like all the little collabs, like all the shit that only came out once. He had everything. Yeah. I was like, damn, this one has like. All, like the shit that you get at the store, like anybody could get, but then the collabs that they had, like you that's can't yeah. get, you can't get that nowhere. Dude, that's so just crazy. And we used to have a gang of good shit, and I was yeah. like, damn. Yeah, bro, we fucking we went ham, bro. Like I think our, my junior, like our, because I'm a year younger than you guys. Yeah, like, yeah. I was a junior when you were a senior. You know, vice, yeah. like, you know, et cetera. So we just, I think those, like, those last two years of school, we just went ham, bro. Where yeah. I was just like, fuck it, let's just get everything. <laughs> fuck it. Like, it that didn't was, even matter. Like, I always just, I literally went to school just to, like, just yeah. wear new clothes. Like, no, nah, but I, I've always been like that. Like, even yeah. when, even, like, in elementary, you know, I used to wear Rockaway, Sean John, Hubu, yeah. Fat Farm. Like, you always just wanted yeah, to. Look, like, yeah, like, since I was, since I could remember, well, I was, like, always wearing name brand. Yeah. And right. then once I got older and was able to, like, start buying my own shit, mm. is, like, when I started getting into designer and shit. But I think I do it because I know, like, I like taking care of my shit. Yeah, you're very, very intricate yeah, with your shit. Like, very intricate with like your shit. Like, I can go out yeah. and not dirty. Or, you that's know, the like, difference, bro. Or I start going to the, like, now I go to the dry cleaners. And, yeah, that's but, a, that's a genuine side of the yeah. whole, like, clothing-wise that we're not just saying, hey, I'm buying all this designer. Look at me. I'm a fucking a designer. I'm yeah, a fucking baller. Nah, no, none of that, bro. Know. We're just literally saying, I appreciate these clothes. Like, bro, yeah. I, I dry clean all my shit. And I seen you. You're very intricate. You you take care of your shit very fucking well, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. Cause you're, cause you're, it's because only you know how much it costs you, you know? Yeah. It's not, it, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't just get up and be like, you know what? I'm gonna buy some shoes today. Fuck no! Like I gotta, I'll save money and then go buy shoes. And when when you buy them, you're like, fuck! Like, do I really want to spend this much? Yeah, and then that's pricey, what, bro. Yeah, that's why you. You're after about that, you like, yeah. Hey, you know what? Like, I'm gonna take care of them and shit like that. But I mean, yeah, I bro. just like it because it's like a. I mean, everybody looks at you, bro. Like. Yeah, I, I like that. Clean. I like the little attention, you know. Yeah. Who doesn't like attention? Everybody likes that shit. You fool, and that's just real genuine and, shit. And, and as long as you don't like, <laughs> as long as you're not over there, you know, like bragging or nothing. Like, people will tell you like themselves. People will compliment you all the time. And Fire the so humble. I, yeah. Just being humble with it. And, and I'm not like that. Like, hey, bro, look, like, look, 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 look what I got or this. Yeah, like, nah. Absolutely not. Heck no. Fire, bro. Yeah, like that. that just comes back. Yeah. That comes back. For the like that comes back with the whole having the hospitality, having the manners, having like what Al- Al- Alta talked about on his, like that he was just like, Yeah, bro, I was raised with manners. And the same thing, like, bro, obviously, you're nah, his brother, yeah, so us, you're you're raised with manners. So it's like, dog, I'm gonna look a certain way, but like, I'm gonna perceive myself a certain way too. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I have like these certain, like, nah, you I mean, have, I like everybody. I mean, I think if you were raised by Mexican friends, I think everybody has manners. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I remember the first thing that I learned was not to cry in front of people. Because yeah. when I got home, they were going to be my ass. I, I got my ass with a few times for crying in front of you people. Yeah, like, bro, that's you shit. No. Got my ass. Like, you, this, <laughs> you feel me? You know what's going to be. Yeah, so that's like ass. the first little lesson that you learn. You're like, oh, shit, like, I'm not supposed to do, like, certain shit in front of people. Yeah, no, Mexican yeah, parents yeah. are mad strict, and that's no knock on no, no one else, no, but no, it's just yeah. the way we grew up. That's the only way I know how to grow up is yeah, just that way. that's how we, like... 
I think that's why, like, a lot of Mexican, I mean, Mexican American people, like, because we're Mexican American, right? Yeah, yeah. But we grow, we grow up with Mexican parents. I think that's why a lot of us know, like, to say hi or just just manners. In yeah, general. just yeah. regular manners. You know, like, there's a lot of people that get there and they won't say hi to nobody. Yeah. You know, yeah. and even if you don't know them, it's, it's, you know. You gotta you yeah. at least say hi or something. You, you feel know? me? You gotta just get, like you just gotta introduce yourself. You feel me? Like no matter yeah, yeah, where, yeah. especially yeah, and that's just a whole part of the hospitality factor of yeah. it. Like, and that's something that like yeah, bro. Like, I, and and that's dope because you're gonna pass that on to the next gen. You feel me? Yeah, you're gonna pass yeah, that on. You yeah, feel me? You're gonna yeah, make yeah. sure that your kid. You know, you feel me? Like when you have a kid, you feel me? Whatever you know, whatever it may be, that you're gonna make sure that he's raised that certain way. He's like, no, bro. Yeah. You're gonna say when someone walks in, you're gonna you're gonna introduce yourself. You're gonna know, tell them who you are. And that's dope as fuck. That's fly. Like, that's just, like, to me, that's fly as fuck. Because those manners, all that's always going to be passed down. You feel me? Like, yeah, a lot of yeah, shit yeah, might bro. not be passed yeah, down, uh, but those manners A lot manners of shit that you, your parents teach you, it gets passed down, bro. We got to listen to our parents, bro. Now, yeah, yeah. At, at your that's... age now, uh, I know you recently turned 27. 27. 27, November. October. Octo- damn, I'm way off, bro. Oh, yeah, way yeah, off, yeah. October way 14. Off. October 14, you turned you 27. You buy me presents if you guys yeah, hey, shoot him. <laughs> little red bottoms is cool. <laughs> hey, shoot him. Some em. light, some light. Well, you already know where this one is. Like, you feel me? Go shoot him. Hey, yeah, everybody knows. Uh, go, tell, go, 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 go put him on. You feel shout me? out Allah for letting everybody know where we live. <laughs> <laughs> so go, go drop feel? the red bottoms yeah. off. You feel me? What size are you on the... On the... Uh, 39, 39, 39, 39 and a half. That's all my boys taking Both right of them now. work. <laughs> Both of them <laughs> work. That's all my boys taking right now. Fucking... But yeah, bro, like, those, that shit, like... That whole hospitality factor, all that shit's gonna be passed down, and like that shit just fly, bro. Like, yeah, it's 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 it's, 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 fly. it's a it's a good thing to pass down. Hell yeah! As bro. you get older, I think as you get older, you start realizing shit like, yeah, like oh that that's why they did this and that. Yeah, like you yeah, know, bro. as much as they tell you shit like, oh don't do this because this is gonna happen. That you're like, happen. I, I have to do it so I can know, like yeah. so I can learn. You exactly, know when they tell bro. you don't jump on the bed because you're gonna hit yourself. Yeah. And then you hit yourself and you're like, okay. Then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, then, then you're like, fuck, okay, I'm not going to jump on the bed no more because I'm a, I'm a lot of little <laughs> putazo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they tell you all the time, don't jump on the bed because you're going to fall. And like you're that. like, I ain't going to fall. Gonna... And then you fall and you're like, oh, that's why they were telling me. <laughs> they probably fell already. <laughs> fuck it. Bro. It's, it's I, little shit, bro. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to like get on some other type shit, but. Bro, so as much as I seen, I seen so I seen you drop somebody. You feel me? Off some, off some, you being just being the baller you are. But like I, I remember telling you this shit a while back, bro. We want to go skate once. Uh. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this mother. <laughs> so I since I seen you drop someone, <laughs> that's why the skateboard is a different breed. Yeah, bro. and that's yeah, why yeah. I appreciate. <laughs> And I, I'm just like, damn. That's why I know this was a different animal. If you, if I've gotten, I've been grateful to see. I've been, I'm been blessed to see this one on the board. And I'm like, damn, this one knows a thing a little. This one knows a thing or two on the it's board. A, a little athletic. That's a, that's all it is. This motherfucker, bro. So this one knows how to. This one knows his thing on the board. He knows how to skate, like legit. Like this one knows how to skate. I like he'll have a full on sesh with you if you, if he can. You if feel I me? can, yeah. Let me um, practice a little bit first though. This motherfucker, the confidence <laughs> that he has in his mind he was going full speed. We want to go skate one time. I don't know who the fuck came up with this great <laughs> idea. Let's go skate with me, this fool, and Alex. And the confidence that this fool has instilled in his head, like this fool just busting the, some nasty ass heel flips. You're very good with yeah, your heel yeah, flips. Yeah, with the heel flips. Remember that? Gnarly uh, heel flips. Bro, ah, uh, man. I'm Like this was just shredding down the street. And I'm like, this was going awfully fast. Like this fool is going mm. fast. So he's going fast as fuck, busts a heel flip, and like this motherfucker like lands like like kind of like primo, like where the trunks are sticking out, <laughs> and that was it for you, my boy. Hey, shit. <laughs> Puta madre, fucking no matter like fool, like, you, like hey, you. No, no, no. Remember me? We were we were at the Seven Eleven first. Oh uh, uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Alex ate shit first, and we were all clowning on him. <laughs> <laughs> we were clowning him and then fucking I go in and eat shit. And I was like, fuck. Food. We all ate, I ate shit that day too. Yeah. Oh yeah, we all ate shit. Yeah, yeah. We all ate shit, we that, all day. shit that day. To me, it was just weird. Like, cause I was, like, I, <laughs> to me, I was just like, I had seen this food day, like, do motherfuckers dirty to like, man, the board is just unforgivable, bro. Like, uh, that piece of wood is unforgivable. This food just saucy. 
Pinche putazo. <laughs> pinche putazo que te dice. And I was just hey, like. No, and then you get up like nothing happens. Like, fuck, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't <laughs> hurt. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I remember you just got up. You're the same type of person that I am when I, when I used to fall. Be like, fuck. <laughs> and like, you just like shake that shit off as fast as you can. You, you just got up here like, fuck. Yeah, you got to act like nothing's wrong. Bro, and I'm telling That's you, dog. That's I see. So as much, like, as, as. As as a, as a fly motherfucker and as a motherfucker that's dropped motherfuckers and I seen it yeah. in person. No, I see I seen you get I seen you. The board took took nah, one at yeah. you, bro. Swung nah, one at yeah. you. But regardless of the fact, like it, skateboarding's hard as fuck. Like I think we could both agree with that. Nah, yeah, that but was how, like the that was like the second shit that I like skateboarding. You, you fuck yeah, with well, skateboarding? I was, I was, yeah, it was like I would play soccer. Yeah, and I like skateboarding a lot. What, Even what, since middle school. What what what, what attracted you to skateboarding? What was it? That I you? don't know. I think it was just because like at that time it was just like everybody was a skater at the time. Yeah. Everybody wanted to go to Jack Bullet. To go <laughs> skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just got into it, and I mean, it, it's hard, but I mean, if you're athletic, you should pretty much be all right. Yeah. But yeah, it it is hard though. <laughs> There's some shit that like when you try to grind and shit, is, you be right. scared. You're like, fuck. What if I Grind eat shit backwards. Like, yeah, bro, it's that. legit. It's yeah. legit, bro. Like, and that's why when I first seen you skate, I was like, oh shit, this was, this was skates. Like, this was legit. Like, this was like I could like I yeah. could skate with you, bro. Like, I like just recently, probably like, probably like prior COVID, you know, probably like a year ago now. Like, we went to go skate that one time with Eddie. Yeah. Shout out Eddie. Fucking, uh, we want to go skate with the, like we want to go yeah, skate we went like down down the just Jack Bullet. Jack Bullet, we're Jack just Bullet. fucking skating her for no reason. You feel me? Like <laughs> this, that was like kind of like a year ago type shit. Like hey, so, I, I called him, was like, "Hey, for give me a board, I want a board." Yeah, I've been wanting to skate. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm saying, bro. When it came, when it, you hit me up, I was like, "I got you. Don't even worry about it." You feel me? Like, but that that's a trip, bro. Like like you're legit. Like you legit. Like I see that you legitimately have a fucking you were fond of it. You're like, damn, this is nah, yeah. Just I tight. used to be really into it. That's just fire, bro. It's yeah. not like I mean now now nowadays you just go on YouTube and be like, yeah, look at videos and shit. Yeah. But back then I wish like you know yeah. would have been like, oh, let me see how to do this trick or some shit. You be learning a lot of shit on there. Fire, hell yeah, bro, hell yeah. So fuck, bro. We got into a lot of motherfucking shit today, bro. Nice, I fucking man. from the bottom of my heart, my G. I appreciate you, dog. And I, like everything was fly from up, t- from top to bottom. Like, dog, I hope you fucking, you, I hope you enjoyed this nah, shit, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. It's my I first hope. podcast, so it's cool. Like, you feel me? I hope uh, you... we won't have to do this again, bro. <laughs> Once, what, let me get a little bit better at it. Nah, of course, bro. Once of we course, get the bro. little setup going and shit, we will we'll run another one. Fool, of course, bro. Like I said, bro, you're genuine motherfucker right here, dog. Like, I'm glad I got to like just. Pick your brain a little bit, bro. And now you found out a couple of stories that I had, had hidden in the and trunk shit. and yeah, shit. You feel sir. me? For like special for just occasions like this, bro. Like where I was like, bro, I want to do this podcast to really just show like how much people I know and like how much people I know with dope ass experiences, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. So I felt appreciated, dog, for nah, everything, yeah, bro. bro. Like, I hope I hope this shit keeps going on for a while. You feel me, dog? Like I had to come out, dog. I had to come out with something. You know, you had to come yes, out with something sir. a little yeah, different. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? So. Yeah. Let's Honestly, do, bro, yeah. thank you, bro, from well, the bottom yeah. of my heart, G. Thanks, Thanks my G. Oh, yeah, bro. Thank Thanks you, for bro. having me. This is my bro. This is my bro, Johnny, right here. Shout your shit out, IG, Twitter, all that, real nah, quick. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't got nothing. No, it's this was this was ain't no no nothing. You feel me? Stop limits. Hey, but on day live podcast episode five. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's my boy, my boy Johnny right here, dog. And honestly, bro, thank you, bro. Yes, sir. We are gonna ride it out right now, dog. Thank you for everything, my G. Number five. We out. Check it out.